Hello everyone. Here we have another vintage reel-to-reel -reel machine. It's a Sony model TC350 three head. This one does work. Seller claims it works. He claims he serviced it. And that any controls that were sticking has been serviced, lubricated, it plays fine supposedly. You know, but we all know how that goes when stuff's off of eBay. I knew the other machines didn't work. But I thought the one that was mint in the box would work, you know, mint in the box, you think it would still work. Obviously it didn't. I'll go into details about that one later. But, it seems to be well packed, bulging. This one came from FedEx. No personal information on it, it's showing. There's nothing you can see on camera. See, labels probably on the bottom. So I could be opening. I could be opening the damn bottom of the box for all I know. In this box used to be Wall Street Journal wine. Packing peanuts. Oh joy. That's gonna be fun. Right, I'm gonna get this out of here. Clean up the mess later. Now right, here it is out of the box. Still wrapped up. Well wrapped. Got enough tape on here? Good lord. So let, let me pause because this is going to take forever. Well, the bubble wraps off, but still more layers of protection. Some foam, some kind of shoe box. This foam stinks, by the way. Like a nail polish remover. You can't say it wasn't well packed. Foam fingers, that shit stinks. You see the cushion? That shit stinks. Oh, all gas. That's the back of it. Ugh, shrink wrapped. And 
This one has dust cover. Jeez. Definitely well packed. I haven't had any of them come this well packed. Does that mean it works? Or is he trying to prevent me from accessing it because it doesn't work? He has 98, like 98 percent positive, so does it work? I might have to do shit to it to make it work. Here's to be in good condition. There she is. Capstan spins free. Three head solid state. Source tape or source for recording. That's on stop, forward, pause, fast forward, rewind. Because of the real. So, let's get it on the desk and power it up and see if it runs. Before I power it up, let's run down through it. The chain speeds, you push in. Now it's hard to do with one hand, but push in. Can't do this with one hand. But you get the idea. Push in and turn. The chain speeds. Under here, the volume controls for recording, go off, click on. And I don't know what SOS volume means on the back here, it goes backwards. But SOS volume, off, on, and adjust it. I don't know what that means. There's the power button, headphone jack. For your source. <clears throat> now set for tape. Counter. That's how you adjust it. So I'll, before I power this up, I'll clean the heads, demagnetize them. Clean everything with rubbing alcohol and then I'll put a tape on it and see if it runs. Or if I have to do anything else to it. Alright, heads have been demagnetized. Tape pass all been cleaned. If I put a tape on it, let's turn it on, see how she goes. Motor clicks on. Click forwards. It's going to stop because there's no ribbon. There's a switch here you have to hold. You know, because the automatic shut off, to shut the thing off and the tape runs out so it's not constantly flapping around. Pinch rollers turning. I see the tape counter's not turning because it turns by the supply reel. The automatic shutoff works. 
motor turns back to idle. So let's put tape on it and see what happens. The guy claims it sounds great through headphones. So does it mean it sounds like shit through the outputs? We will see. Alright, just put the tape on it, switch it to seven and a half, and now it sounds like a damn helicopter. So it might not like that speed, but we're gonna try it. She's been threaded by Orbison Greatest Hits. Let's put it on forward and see what happens. Nothing. Alright. Let me figure this one out. This motherfucker lied. It doesn't goddamn work. You know what you get to even play at three and three fourths? It's to turn on nothing. I gotta give it a fucking helping hand. Do this enough times, it finally kicks on. Real. He turned it enough time to finally kicks on, but only at a slow speed. Now, the reason it's not working, this idle wheel here, this guy is not making contact with the flywheel. Like, it'll either run against the motor, it's like very, very stiff, and I gotta push it up to make it contact. Like very very stiff. <laughs> then now it won't change. It's very hard to change. So something's off alignment in here. This thing seems like it's bent. See, now it's engaged to the seven and a half speed, but again, it's not connecting to this. So now I gotta push it down. So, let me take this idle wheel off and see what's going on if I have to lube it or something. That's the problem. The idle wheel is not making contact with the flywheel. So I gotta figure out why. Alright, I think I got it. Now, that thing's really gummed up. So stiff. I drowned it with contact cleaner as a degreaser. Drowned it in hot water and then rubbing alcohol. Wriggled it back and forth. Now it engages perfectly now. As you can see it moves up and down like it should. That's the problem. It wasn't in it like Maybe hit the motor, but it wasn't engaging the flywheel for the capstan. That's what the problem. That's why it was bogging down. I don't know what he did, how this guy serviced it, but that he missed that. And that was gummed up. I don't know if this is the right washer for it, but I think that's what was on it. I don't know. Don't care as long as it runs. So let me clip this one back on, and we'll go from there. And now it shifts properly, it's in the seven and a half speed and doesn't hit this when trying to go in. So and I cleaned every, all the rubber surfaces with rubber alcohol and a Q-tip, everything, because there was grease on it. It seemed like it even struggled to start up to get the speed for rewinding or fast forwarding, so. Cleaned everything with rubbing alcohol. They say not to do that, but tough. Try to get any grease oil off of it. So I don't know how this guy serviced it. See lots of grease and shit on here. So let's put it back together. I'm not gonna put the case in it yet. I'm not gonna put it in the case yet. But I'm gonna finish attaching this thing, and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. 
Shifts like it's supposed to. So I don't know how this dumb fuck serviced it, but obviously he didn't lubricate it correctly. But now it plays. No problems at all now. Sounds good. Unfortunately, I can't give you a long sample because of copyright. You know. But now it seems to be working. So, let's button it back up. Okay, this be working now. I don't know how he serviced it, but if he got to service that part, so that's what the problem was. The uh, idle wheel for the caption wasn't engaging, so I had to lube, uh, clean all the lubrication off of that because it was really gummed up. But now it appears to be working. It shifts no problem now. Just see how it sounds on three and three fourths. So far, so good, it's still playing. Let's see how it goes to the end. Then I guess we'll try it with three and three four speed. All you guys here at San Quentin to kind of get back at whoever you want to out there. In my case, I'd like to get back at the fella down in Starkville, Mississippi that still has my $36. Well, I left my motel room down at the Starkville Motel. The town had gone to sleep and I So far as working on uh, three and three fourths, this is a bit jerky. So the tension's a bit loose, but as long as it plays, and I got a cat that won't shut the fuck up. Not so far, it seems to be playing. You can kind of see the tape fluctuating there a bit. Kind of hard to see. There you go. Bouncing up and down. So it's kind of jerky as the tension catches up. But as long as it plays, I'll have to see how it records at another time. I'll have the time today to mess with that. So I had to take it apart and fix it. Maybe I'll contact the seller and see if he'll be kind enough to give me some kind of discount on the price and see claimed it worked, but it didn't. Or he could just be a total he could just be a total asshole and just tell me to go fuck myself, you know, who knows? There are sellers like that. So I'll continue watching it and check back in here with you later. Well it works. Some wow and flutter here and there as the tape jerks here and there for whatever reason. But it plays. So, I'll email the seller. Said maybe if he's nice he'll give me a couple bucks off of it since he claimed he serviced it. But apparently he did a piss poor job of it. So I had to get it working. But it works now. Both speeds adjust easier. So let's see, fast forward work.
So, it works. So, I don't know if I'm going to use this one, the Sony or the Panasonic, to uh, transfer some tape to CD. So, when I feel like it's working the best. The other Sony that was running too fast, like I said, it has a sleeve on this capstan. I moved that and then it was playing too slow. And the fact that I also had no audio on uh, the right channel, I decided I was taking it in the repair shop. So there'll be an updated video on that one. But this, this one works TC350. An updated model of the 250D. So, and that's it. And I'll show you the top. So I'll have to let's see if I can find a manual on here for free. I don't know what SOS volume is. This is your auxiliary input. So I've gone from digital to analog, just trying to figure out how to go from analog to digital. But it works. Made by Superscope. Oh, distributed by Superscope. So, that's it. Vintage Sony reel-to-reel -reel player, model TC350. Thanks for watching.